Welcome to Discussing Dad Life, where we break down bullshit so you don't have to. I'm Void, this is No, and let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did you stop doing that? <laughs> to me, to me, to me, to me. <laughs> So, kick us off. Um, so, we're going to be doing Main Event Mondays, like always. And uh, our sponsors are Candle Time. We have um, Lakeshore, Sea Breeze, Coconut, and Peach, my favorite. You should go buy them at buycandletime.net. Links in the description. Links in the description. There you go. What are you playing with? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not playing with anything. You're don't. I'm not playing with anything. Okay. Fair. Slime. Putty slime. Yeah. Makes a fart noise. So let's stay on the election. Trump was found in contempt in New York. Uh, he got like a $9,000 fine. But uh, we're going to cover four articles today. Um, all kind of politic related. So let's go ahead and... Switch over to the uh, screen share and bring up the first article, please. Yeah. So Trump and DeSantis signal their private meeting was excellent. I am very happy. <laughs> well, you don't like... look happy. <laughs> you, well, the Donald Trump, he, he he's over there like. And then this man over here, whoever he is, I don't know who he is. Like, the people in the back are kind of smiling, like those two. Um, but the person that's, like, talking into the mic, he's just like... That's the Santas. <laughs> well, he looks like this. <laughs> he's the governor of Florida. Well, he looks like, like that. Okay. He, he looks weird. He's yeah. not smiling. Yeah. He's fake smiling. Go ahead, scroll down a little bit. doesn't look like you're very happy. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis both signaled that uh, signaled this week that they were very happy with the outcome of the recent private meeting and that they were both committed to working together moving forward. The meeting in Miami, Florida. But wow. You can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Is wow. Is your hair? No, it's not my hair. It looks like your hair. How is that my hair? Are you putting oh. hair in my slime? I'm not. Um, so the meeting in Miami, Florida on Sunday was set up by real estate broker Steve Wickoff, who was a friend of Trump and has relationship with DeSantis. Wickoff also attended the meeting. So I'll scroll down some more. Where are we at? I'll let you read the next one. Keep going. Keep going. Right here. Okay. I am very happy that... Uh, I am wow. Very is it contagious? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. I started reading there, then I saw the have, and I said happy. <laughs> I am very happy to have the full of anesthesia support of Governor Ron. And Stop. I didn't even do anything. Yes, you are. You're over there smiling like I did something wrong. Nope. Ron DeCesia of Florida <laughs> Trump posted on social media, we had a great meeting. Why are you laughing? DeSantis. That's what I said. Ron DeSantis. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Go what ahead. What are you talking about? Go ahead. Read the next one. The conversation most likely concerned how we would work closely together to make an uh, American great again. He continued also discussing we had the future of Florida, which is fantastic. Greatly appreciated Ron's support and talking back our country from worst president in the history of the United States. November th Fifth is a big bang is a big day. I was gonna see Big Bang Theory. Oh, that's a show. <laughs> the New York Times. Scroll down, dude. One second. No, I'm not done right there. <laughs> Up just a little bit, please. Right there. The New York Times was re reported the three the three men alone. In <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who finds <laughs> words hard. Stop. <laughs> The New York Times reported that the three men met alone in a private room 
at Shally Bay, a development and golf club that Rifco owns. You want to keep going, or you want me to take over? Trump is looking for dense the Santi's help in fundraising to keep up with the President Joe Biden's de de donations. Donations and Dense Santi's is looking to get back to the point where he was widely viewed as the Republican Republican Party as the pool cont continued earlier this year that found he is the fortune front runner front runner for party nomination in 2018 2028 20 oh 2028 we haven't even had 2028 yet it's no, 2024 20, what, what what they're saying is that um uh DeSantis is looking to get back to the point where he's widely viewed as the Republicans uh, the Republican Party's nomination for 2028. 2028. Yeah, so DeSantis was trying to run in 2024, but couldn't get enough support. So uh, that makes sense. He kind of burned a little bit of bridges. Um, so now he's trying to endear himself with the Make America Great crowd in order to make himself. Uh, the primary contender for 2028 when Trump, if he wins, would have to leave office. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Scroll down, please. So DeSantis said during a Fox News interview on Thursday that he had, uh, that he and Trump connected on a lot of things during their meeting, including on how their families were doing. The governor said that he was going to be an active in a variety of capacities to help Trump and other Republican candidates win their races this fall. Um, go ahead, scroll down. It was just a good meeting, a good conversation. He said he understands the importance of this election. He understood, stands the damage that Biden is doing. And I think you would see a 180 degree different policies if we, if we're able to win in November, which is important that we do, he added. So we can end it there. Um, so sounds like DeSantis is back on board with Trump. Um, I know that he did come out and ador endorse Trump after he dropped out of the, the primary, but um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Cool. You like cool. your slime? Huh? You like your slime? Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah. I'm getting more tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. No, no. Maybe. I'm getting more. No, I'm getting more. We have lots of things to do tomorrow. Uh, then I'll we have, have a we have at least four hours of driving Mom to do. Take me. Yeah. To get more. Okay, go ahead and switch over to the Biden team. The next tab, please. Biden team. Biden team. You said Biden. Biden? Wait, Biden. You said, you Biden. said Biden. Oh, okay. So the Biden team quietly debuts new strategy, hide the president's stumbling feet from cameras. This is by Virginia Kurta. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Kurta? Kurta? Yeah, something like that. Go ahead, scroll down. Let's uh, let's see what they're what she what she's going to write about. President Joe Biden's team was quietly shuffled in and implemented a new safeguard in their ongoing efforts to shield it from the prying questions and eyes of the White White House press corps. According to the report published last week by Axios, the president's staff plans to redouble their efforts to flank him as he makes the short walk across the White House lawn to and from Marine One. Their goal, apparently, is to steer him away from the reporter shouting questions and to hide his uneven gait from their cameras. Scroll down. In response to concerns that walking alone across the grass has drawn attention to his age and sometimes halting in uneven steps, Biden has been surrounded by staffers or lawmakers nine of the ten times he's made the trip since April 16th, according to the Axios report. So you can see a embedded portion from um, Twix yeah look at that interesting instead of walking to and from Marine One by himself Biden's last week started walking surrounded by aides some Biden advisors said they concerned that the videos of Biden's walking alone especially on grass have highlighted his age go ahead that's from Alex Thompson on X 
Axios, Alex Thompson's noted that Biden has also opted for athletic shoes with sturdier soles that could help minimize the risk that he would slip or trip while walking. Scroll down slightly. Let's show the photo. Dang, look at that. Yeah. I mean, he, he is old, and these are good precautions for him to be taking. Um, it is also very telling that he is old and that he that, that, that the White House Daddy is trying to. die soon. You don't have to be mean about it. I'm not being mean. Well, I know you're just speaking facts, but people would interpret that as being mean. Well, life is hard. Life is hard, and unfortunately, life ends. Yep. So, yeah, we, we can end that. Um, I'm surprised it took them this long to start trying to hide um, some of that stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, article written by Tim Pierce. What's that? Go ahead. Not to be mean or anything. Talk into the mic, please. Not to be mean or anything, but has, do you know if any of the presidents have been gay? Um, officially, I don't believe so. Me neither, because all of the president results, like Theodore Roosevelt, I had him last year, and then this year, I have Abraham Lincoln, and so far from my studies, they have not been gay, so... Yeah, but those are only two out of, like, 48 no. and 46. No. Yeah. There's There's been 46 presidents, and you're only talking two out of 46. What? Whoa, that's a lot. I mean a dinosaur. There is a conspiracy theory out there that Obama might be gay, but... Um, that Who's Obama? He was the president before Donald Trump. He's the one that uh, allowed... Oh, I've seen a picture of him before. People make jokes about them. It's yeah. mean. Yeah, th- th- there are some pretty unruly comments about him. I mean, he, he was a horrible president, don't get me wrong. Um, he was a what now? Horrible president. Why? Um, what did he do? Did he kill children? Yes. Oh, then he's an awful person. Yeah, and he also executed Is American... Is he dead? No. Oh, dang it. He also executed American citizens overseas. <gasps> no. Yeah, yeah. He, he was a horrible guy. The funny thing is there's, like, all these memes across, like, Facebook and stuff are like thanking him for eight years of scandal free and I'm just like um <laughs> don't eight you year, remember eight um years. Fat, uh, fast and furious pro, you know the the where Who's they, fast? what's a fast and furious uh, there was fast operation and fast and furious where they gave a bunch of guns to the Mexican cartels and lost track of all of them and then those guns started coming across the borders and started being used to kill American citizens he uh he executed an America uh, an American citizen and his son overseas just because um, he had ties with a foreign news media, if I remember correctly. Yeah. That that's stupid. Um, he was he he's the one that originally built the cages and started separating families at the borders, even though the media tried putting that on Trump. Um, <coughs> Yeah, um, he he did a bunch of drone strikes, killing children, women and children overseas. No. He uh, he uh, he allowed the situation in Ukraine to get so out of hand that Vladimir Putin went in and actually invaded, and then how long has you the Ukraine problem been going on? Under Barack Obama, Vladimir Putin invaded and took control of the Crimea. 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 Words are hard. I know. Today so, and every day for you. But yeah, Obama was an absolutely horrible president. The sad part is I actually voted for him the first time because I was the hope and change message. And then um, all he did was destroy race relations. Um, and, Who did you and, vote for the second time? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I voted for um, Gary Johnson. <laughs> Who's Gary Johnson? Uh, he was running on the Green Party, I believe. He, was, he used to be the uh, governor of New Mexico. He's a big Why old pothead. Why do you know so many people? Because I pay attention to what's going on in the world. Well, in the United States, the world's a little bit more difficult because not there's everyone... There's too many people. There, there's a lot of people, and not, not a like lot of them share our goals, eight, right? Eight Google. What about a Google? No, eight Google. 
Okay. With Google people. Do you not know what Google is? No. Google is the biggest number in the world. Okay, well that's just not true. Yeah, it is. We did we did a science project on it in fourth grade. Infinity is the largest number in the world because it goes on well, forever. Well, Google is the largest, like... Google is a search engine on the internet. No, no, <laughs> you can Google it. You can, like, actually Google it. Uh, and I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Let's, let's go ahead and get back to the articles, okay? <laughs> it's the biggest number in the world! <laughs> I did an article about it. <coughs> okay, so by Tim Pierce, um, the RF campaign proposes massive cuts to military. Everything hinges on demilitarization. Scroll down. Let's go ahead and see what RFK has to say. So I do like RFK. Scroll back up. Who's RFK? Scroll up. I'm going to show it to you. RFK Kennedy. Yeah. Is that him? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. That's him. What, is he a goofy looking guy? <laughs> no. Okay. So RFK would cut military spending nearly in half to pay for a, sp a spate of new and expanded social programs if he wins the White House. Ooh. Ooh. There's an auction on the White House? No, if he wins the White House. Well, meaning like he wins in November. The election. He's running? Yeah, he's running as an independent. I thought it was just nope. Donald Trump and... No, no, no. Oh, there's, there's other people that are going to be running, sis. So... Biden and Trump are the two Most. major party candidates. But then you'll have independents, you'll have communists, you'll have uh, libertarian. Um, and, oh, speaking of which, Donald Trump, I guess, is going to be speaking at the libertarian uh, convention. That's going to be interesting. I need to check that one out because uh, uh, it, so it sounds, from what I've read, it sounds like Dave Smith's actually going to be asking him questions. So uh, the Mises Caucus is going to be heavily involved in picking questions and moderating Trump, which might be very, very interesting and telling. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not liking what I'm reading right now. This, this, this is one reason I why. Thought was, I thought you were going to say I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. No, I'm just, he's going to cut military spending. Okay, I'm not against cutting military spending, but he wants to pay for a spate of new and expanded social programs when our biggest threat to the United States right now our biggest national security issue is the simple fact that the dollar is losing its value. We dollar. pay the money, right? Yeah, money is right. losing its value. Yeah, because How? they keep printing more money, so inflation has not been subs uh, ha has not subsided, like they keep saying that there will be. Interest rates, which they've hiked in order to combat inflation, have not been doing its job. So the simple fact that the the American dollar is going down the way it is is very bad. And one of the main reasons for that is the 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 interest that we have to pay to the Federal Reserve, which I do not like, um, is high. And then we have these unsecured mandatory spending, which is all the entitlement programs. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have entitlement programs, but we do not need to be having it at the dang federal level. We need to be starting to put things back onto the state and local levels. That is where the people that are living in the communities can make the best choices. Mm -hmm. okay. I agree with you on that. So Charles Eisenstein, a senior advisor to the Kennedy Kennedy campaign said that the candidate would aim to cut military spending onto a level not seen since President Dwight Eisenhower last, last year's in office. The saving from the cost cutting would be rejected over to cover child care subsidies and other welfare programs. <sighs> if you really want to fix child care, we need to get it back to this uh, point where we can have a single parent uh, income or, or a, a single income, a single household income versus forcing both, uh, both parents to work and then having to subvert their rearing of their children to someone else um i mean many things wrong with this whole thing rfk man you you were doing halfway decent this is this is horrid man go ahead scroll down let's let's see what else wretched things he's coming up with everything hinges on demilitarization i'd say told notice uh okay like massive cuts in the military budget okay I don't disagree with the military budget cutting, but 
Yeah. The rest it, of it. It's the rest of it that's that's horrid. Like, let, we need to cut spending across the board on everything. Uh, Kennedy is running a long shot independent bid for the presidency. Kennedy is a distant third trailing President Joe Biden, former President Donald Trump. A recent NPR PBS Maristit poll found Biden and Trump tied at 42 points each, with Kennedy far behind with 11 points. <coughs> Still, Kennedy's third-party bid has attracted more support than any independent run since Ross Perot in 1992. Shout out to Ross Perot, man. You were a badass back then, bad. I didn't know much. I was very young, but uh, definitely definitely like the independent movement more so than the party movements. I'm putting it away. So under Eisenhower in 1960, the United States spent about $47 billion on its military. In 2022, that number had ballooned to roughly $880 mil- billion. Wow. Well, that's what? quite... That's $833 billion increase. But over the course of the decades, military spending as a percentage of the GDP actually fell by more than half. In 1960, the U.S. military budget was equivalent to about 9% of the GDP. In 2022, that fraction had fallen to just 3.5%. The way your voice changed to 3.5%. I know. Kind of went southern, like a little southern draw. You got an accent. Yeah. An accent. An accent. Okay, well, I guess uh, Kennedy's off my list of voting for. I'm, I'm not going to vote for anyone that's actually going to increase the destruction of the U.S. dollar. That's absolutely tragic that he's even going that route. Sad, sad. Okay, um, let's go to the last one. Department of... <coughs> Mm-mm. Department of Justice warns it will sue Iowa. Oh, sorry. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I have a question. Shoot. Between all the people that you know are in the ev- election, uh huh, who would you vote for? Sitting as of today. Yes. Um, well, I have no clue. Just probably Dave Smith. If he if he ends up getting the libertarian, who's Dave Smith? Can you can you you know what? Here, hold on. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Is he gonna be another blonde dude? No, Dave Smith. Is that him right there? Dave Smith, American comedian, right there. David Smith is an American stand-up. Uh, comedian, podcaster, and libertarian pol- political commentator. He's frequently appeared on Fox News channels, Kennedy and the Greg Gutfeld Show. Additionally, is recurring, reoccurring panelist on CNN's SE Coop. Unfiltered Smith is a member of the Mises Caucus of the Libertarian Party. If he ends up getting the endorsement for the Libertarians, I'll probably vote for him. Uh, I've listened to quite a bit of things that he says, and he matches more of what I would like to see than anyone else. Um, If he doesn't get it, um, I might just write in Vivek Ramaswamy. (laughs) I liked him. He was good, too. So. Okay. Okay. with that. You want to read this one or you want me to? I'll read it. Okay. Go ahead. Read the title. Nope, nope. Go back up. Read the title. We got to introduce it. Spencer Lidquist wrote this. Go ahead. Sorry. Department of Justice warns it will sue Iowa over law cracking down on illegal immigration. 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 <laughs> Dojo. Um. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, hold on. Scroll up. Let, let's look at this photo. I want to get your reaction. What do you think of that guy? Is he someone important? Uh, well, he thinks he's important. Is he? I mean, he's he's he's. The he looks like a pig. <laughs> so he's the attorney general of the United States. He's the highest um, law enforcement person in the United States. He looks unhappy. Uh, Why do you? He he gives me like ghost face vibes. Interesting. Okay. That's a good take. Thank you. Scroll down. Let's he read. me out. I don't like that person. Go ahead. Okay. The Biden 
Biden administration's Department of Justice dojo. DOJ. It's just DOJ. Department of Justice. But it says D-O- dojo. It doesn't say dojo. It says D-O-J. Right here. D-O-J-O. There's no O after the J. Yeah, but doge. Then it's <laughs> doge. Okay. Well. Anyway. Department of Justice doge <laughs> warned Iowa that if it sues the state, if it in- forces. enforces a recently passed law that sneaks cracked down on illegal immigration, the dojo's warning comes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DOJs. <laughs> no, the Doge's warning comes after Iowa giving Kim Governor giving Governor Kim Reynolds mm. sign legislation last La- month. Legislation. Legis- that's what I said. You said registration. No, I didn't. I said le- legislation. Legis- <laughs> legis- <laughs> Legislation. Oh my God, we are butchering this. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Go, go ahead. Just keep going. <laughs> Last month, that would make illegal entry into the state an aggravated menstruation. Aggravated misdemeanor. I'm just telling. I'm just correcting. It's okay. Keep going. You're doing fine. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Don't correct me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that word says. The empowering. State. Empowering. Empowering. This the state to arrest Ill- illegal immigrants. Do not, do not question my grammar. Are they really illegal immigrants or are they criminal aliens? I have Criminal aliens? Yeah. <sighs> so, the, the, there, there is an important distinction to make between illegal immigrant and... Uh, I live with three toddlers. Well, just think about it. So, if a, if, if a person's not from an area, mm-hmm. and they come to that area, they are alien to that area. Okay? Mm-hmm. And if they break a law in order to get into that area, they are technically a criminal. <laughs> So the correct term would be criminal alien, not illegal immigrant. Stop putting all this math through my head. <laughs> it's not it's math. Not school. <laughs> okay. Anyway, go ahead. This is not social studies class. You want me to read? You got no, it. No, I got it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't make that sound at me. That is a horse sound. I do I look like a horse? No, no. I do. I am. Hmm? Hmm. Huh? What? Like I seriously yeah, didn't hear you. Keep reading. No, no. Tell me what you said. I said I am. I am a what? A horse. You Left are a horse. horse. You have a long nose. That's Pinocchio. That's you, because you're a fibber. I am Ouch. not. Violence not is not nice. What's well, not nice? Violence. <laughs> Don't be hitting people. Keep your hands to yourself. That didn't hurt. <laughs> I went like that. Mm-hmm. How does that hurt? Go ahead. Keep going. The Biden administration has failed to enforce our nation's immigration laws, putting the protection and safety of the way- Iowans. Iowans at risk. Reynolds say after first single legislation, those who come in. You're kicking the camera. No, I'm not. You are. You see how it's shaking? Fine. That would be uncomfortable. Uh, I forgot where I was. Uh, Reynolds said after first signing the legislation. Do not have to read that whole part? Those who Those come who into our country illegally have broken the law, yet Biden refuses to deport them. There. I just finished off so you could start on your new paragraph. No. Toddler eel. No. Uh. 
this whole thing has been one of those. <laughs> no, this whole thing has been a fatality. <laughs> no, I think you're just a fatality. Wow. Okay. Uh, the Biden's Doge principle. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. (laughs) Oh my god. This is why I absolutely love my daughter. (laughs) All right, while 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 you catch your breath, the Biden's DOJ or Doge. Principal Deputy Assistant Attorney General Brian Bratton responded to the legislation with a letter to the Governor uh, Kim Reynolds and the Attorney General Bren, Brenna Bird, Brenna Bird, huh. giving the state until May seven to suspend the enforcement of the new law before the federal government steps in. Uh, okay, Boynton argued that the Iowa's. Hey, you're still kicking the camera. No, I'm not. You are. I just saw moving. Okay. Um, argued that the Iowa's new law is preempted by federal law and violates the United States Constitution and that it effectively creates a separate state immigration scheme which intrudes into the field that is occupied by the federal government and is preempted. So just real quick, I'm going to give my thought on this. This is the same argument that can be made that Texas made, which is that the federal government has failed to execute their constitutional duties, which then gives constitutional rights back to the states in order to enforce immigration laws because the federal government has abdicated their duties. So um, um, Kim Reynolds and Brenna Byrd, I hope you guys stand strong and um, push back against federal overreach wait, because wait, wait. They, this federal government has proven to be inept every step of the way. Go ahead. Are those two people nice people or bad people? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know much about Kim Reynolds or I've never even heard of Brenna Bird. I've heard of Kim Reynolds just because she is the governor of Iowa. And Iowa is a pretty important state when it comes into the primaries and stuff like that. Um, that in ki- Iowa's is a fairly important state. Since you don't know if they're good or bad, I'm not going to do my comment. Okay. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter if I think they're good or bad. You need to read up on them and figure out whether or not they're good or bad yourself. Do I have to? Well, you should. But do I have to? No, you don't have to. You okay, don't have to do anything in the world that. that you don't want to do. I would encourage you before making judgment to do some research, though. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and switch us back to the main screen, bud. Is my face like a red tomato? Oh, wait. Hold. Scroll back. Go back. (laughs) Sorry. We're lagging. Um, So they... I I, I wanted to finish this. um. Whoa. Stop, dude. Scroll down. Down, 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 nope, down. Nope, up. Right there. Um. The state's attorney general, Bernard Bird, signaled that the Iowa will not capitulate to the Biden administration's request. I will not back down and stand by as our state safety hangs in the balance. If Biden refuses to stop the border invasion and keep our community safe, I will do the job for him. Flawless victory. Excellent. She deserves a bonkai. She's going to have to go bonkai. What? I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. You do you. Shout out from our sponsor and the video. Oh, Wrap are we done? Uh, yeah, we're just covering those four, uh, four um, articles. 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 Okay. Shout out from our sponsor, Candle Time. <laughs> Stop. We're being all mean. 
I'm not being mean. You're being mean. You're stealing my lines. Oh, wow. My hair is like all messed up. It's awful. It looks like a pig's hair. I got like the alfalfa going on back there. That's Didn't you cool just song. take a shower? I did. That's probably why it's all jacked up. It's there. like. My hair is beautiful. No, no, no. Emotional damage. Yeah, to you. <laughs> okay, shout out from our sponsor. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Um, our sponsor is our sponsor is Candle Time dot. It's just Candle Time. I forgot. Um, me, I'm the owner. You're my business partner, apparently. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. This is supposed to be serious. I'm, the, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> you do you, sis. Okay. At buycandletime.net and link in the descriptions, Um, we have... Stop. I was just... I'm giving you a high five. That was a... Flawless victory. Excellent. You're, You're learning. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we have four cents available. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did it. I knew she was going to jump in. She doesn't want me to do it. It's okay. It's hers. Go. Now you now you made me laugh. I need a second. So the four cents we have is Lakeshore, Sea Breeze, Coconut, and Peach, which you should definitely buy yet. Buy CandleTime.net. Link in the description. Perfect. <laughs> Let them know that we're going to be coming out with some citronella. Yeah. It's for be mosquitoes. Colorful. Right. Get, keep those mosquitoes away. Getting into the summer months. What are you doing? <laughs> you turning into a snake? I'm a snake. A slithery, slithery snake. We're lagging. That's okay. Perfect. All right. Say goodbye. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then, peace. peace.